Yo, Curtis. What's going on, buddy? What are we doing today? That's some tape machine. Should we just make a beat? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Test right now. Oh, I'm recording at low speed. What does that mean? I'm gonna find out. It's gonna be sped up. So we're recording it, and now we can play back. <laughs> this is fast. Yeah, right? Yeah, you just lent it to me. I was honestly looking to buy one. I was looking to buy one. It was like fate. Manifest. Manifest, for sure. Okay, so I'll stop it there. And the, the cool thing is you can get a counter, you can mark down the time so it's 10 counter frames or seconds or whatever the heck this is. So record this one at regular speed and we can slow it down? Or was it kind of sick? No, it was kind of sick. I like speeding yeah. it up. So keep it low. I'll put the pitch at regular pitch speed. Recording guitar. Courtesy of Curtis. And what I'm actually doing here, I'm routing one of my outputs, my mono outputs of the mixer into it. But then the output's also going into the mixer. So play. Yeah, like that. And almost like, yeah, like that show. Okay, let's try it. And if you remember, the counter was set to 10. And now it's at 20, so we go back 10 seconds or whatever the f 10 whatever it is. Oh, it's possible that I was recording itself into itself, which there'd be a tape delay then, which is kind of fire. What the fuck, man? There we go. Okay, speed up. Yeah, slower things. I think yeah, slower. Yeah, slow as fuck. Okay, here, let me, let me record you. So, yo, you hear the tape delay? So the recording is being fed into the tape machine, and then the tape machine is also going into the mixer. It's a tape delay. You see where it says three head? One of the heads is record, and one of the heads is play, and they're like spaced apart, so when the tape goes around, there's a split second between the record and play, and it's feeding itself back, so it, it records and it plays, but because of the distance, there's a gap and delay. And depending on the speed you record at, it's shorter now, watch. I think it was like 20 or something. More the truth. Jeez. <laughs> And I could change the pitch too here. Can't replicate that on VST again. J37? Yeah. And the RC20? Yeah. So the next step would be rewinding this whole tape. If we got enough, and if you want to do more, we can do more. But I would just say record all this shit to logic and then we can manipulate it in logic. Chop it up. Let's record this motherfucker. It's gonna be a lot of noise, we gotta deal with it later, but that's okay. Recording. You're the fucking click man. You know what? The pitch is set to high, but whatever. Hello? What? What? Did you say you were at home? So we think any moment, like any just little. That's what you gotta say on the camera. Finish, he, was, he was scared about his chips. He I was didn't. worried about the chips. I had to put the camera down, you know? Okay, like, Curtis is worried about his little loop. He's worried that he didn't do enough. But I'm saying, it's enough. That's enough for a beat. You can also slow down. Counter going. <laughs> enough of that, enough of that, enough of that. I feel that can be kind of silly. Definite maybe.
sat up, you see the difference? You sit up. Crazy. Yeah, it's kind of fire actually. beats leave room for the vocals leave room for the vocals the writer won't have anything to do Yeah, 
That's that, guys. That's how you <laughs> fucking make a beat with a tape machine and a guitar and a computer. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna put a download link for you guys to download the sample. If you're a producer, flip it. Send it to us, we'd love to hear what you did. It'll be in the description below somewhere, somewhere to download.